is you. Yippee-ki-yay, motherfucker. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I seem to go back in time. I went back to the 80s to this L. Smith concert, which you can see from my hat. They performed at, you know, Disney MGM Studios. And then, the last thing I did in my time travel was, I stopped World War II from happening. So I defeated the Nazis with a flying saucer. Yeah! Yeah. So, today I'm going to review Looper. So, Looper stars Joseph Gordon-Levitt, Bruce Willis, Piper Laurie, um, Jeff Daniels, Emily Blunt, and Paul, no, Paul, Dan, Paul Dano, and many more. So, Looper is directed by Ryan jo Johnson, who directed Burke and The Brothers Bloom, and it's about, it takes place in the present where time travel has not yet been invented, and so the, the mob from the later future calls out these specialized assassins called loopers, in which the mob sends back criminals who, who are from their present and go back to Joseph Grun Levitt's present to, to send them back, and then they just kill them so they can be so they can no longer exist and they can never commit the crime ever. So we follow one of the loopers played by Joseph Corn Levitt as as one of the rules is to not let your target escape or something. And then there's like this other plan where if you kill like your older self, the mob does this thing called close the loop in which you'll not well, where you can quit being a looper and just do whatever crazy stuff. And so we follow JGL, Joseph Gordon Levitt, who's one of the loopers, in, who, like, has best friends, who's Paul Dan one more. You know, he's rich, people love him, he takes, like, this eye drug and stuff, and he's gonna go to France someday. But then, Bruce Willis comes along, who's in his older version of himself, he lets him get away, the mob is going to kill JGL for not killing him, and other stuff ensues, which I'm not going to spoil. Looper, I'm super excited about this movie. I mean, the cast is great, I love the premise, and oh my, did this ever pay. Looper is one of the smartest, most original sci-fi films I've ever seen since Inception, Blade Runner, and more. It's incredible. It's between the movie's a mix between Terminator and Cowboy Bebop. I can understand why people mention Terminator, but people also meant don't people don't mention Cowboy Bebop. I saw some Cowboy Bebop references in there, especially one, one. And by the way, the director says he loves that show. By the way, just wanted to let you know, I saw some Cowboy Bebop references. So yeah. Just my opinion, though. The acting is all around fantastic. Joseph Gordon Levitt is excellent. His character is engaging. Bruce Wells, this guy's awesome. I mean, since Die Hard, I, I'm, he's my favorite actor of all time. And here, he's my favorite character out of the whole movie. It's not because it's he's Bruce Wells. Well, that too. But just his character is just so engaging and stuff, and just sort of dramatic story to like the older version of JGL and stuff you know and there's some stuff in there that has to do with this character which I'm not gonna spoil and Emily Blunt she's really good too the JGL and her get have good chemistry and more you know everyone in this film has great chemistry especially JGL and Bruce Wells who the best part of the movie is their convert their dialogue, which is written excellently, especially, like everyone else, the diner scene, 
which is which that scene with just with them is an excellent mix between dialogue that's hilarious and dialogue that's supposed to be dramatic, and that scene along with with those two elements just works excellently. And to me, it also references one of the older Twilight Zone episodes. I'm not gonna spoil it, but I can't believe people are not mentioning this one because I'm not gonna spoil what it is. But one of the characters in this has to do with one like the older episodes of like the older Twilight Zone episode. I'm not gonna tell you which, but I can't believe no one meant. But if you've seen it, I think you know what I mean. Which episodes? I'm not gonna spoil it. And it's I the direction is fantastic. Ryan Johnson is a guy who who like it's a really dark, you know, film noir type of sci fi film sort of like in a blade runner type way. And this is like a plot Philip K. Dick would do. I mean it just makes Philip K. Dick wanna go in a corner and just cry for not coming up with something like this. It's not saying I hate him, he's an excellent sci-fi writer, but still. And I, the direction is great, the editing is fantastic. I love the some of the transitions and stuff in the camera angles, some of the best of the year. I mean, this is like my type of filmmaking. This is the type of filmmaking that I want to do, that I would do. But I wanted to mention one moment because I felt like I need to. It might be a random moment, but I think you've seen this in trailers when Bruce Willis is shooting machine guns, and then what I and then when when he did, I'm not gonna show you which part of it he does that in, but I think you know what it means. But whenever he, but when he did that, I was just gonna, I was, I was thinking, yeah, that's my Bruce man. Woo, that's my Bruce man. That's my Bruce. I know, that's weird. I didn't actually do that, but I felt like I wanted to because he's Bruce Willis and he's awesome shooting machine guns. Yeah. So, I... So, yeah, it's written brilliantly and the ending is just so powerful. I didn't see it coming. I mean, it's... People might say, Ugh, it's so stupid and cheesy. It's not cheesy or stupid. Even though I didn't cry... It was a great way to end the movie, and, and I'm not going to spoil it. Like, I, oh my gosh, I keep annoying you people. You know, I think I already, I think already you just closed me. You know, I'm just going to call this a close the loop moment now, because you people might have just left already because you think I'm annoying. But yeah, great use of that right now, to my opinion. But still. <sighs> Time travel just rots your brain like an egg. Oh yeah, that reminds me. I love all like the time travel references, like time travel just rides frame right, like an egg. And then, and then there's like a scene at the time where like, I don't want to talk. Where older Joe, played by Bruce, was like, I don't want to talk. And then we'll be, you know, I don't want to talk about tri time travel because then we'll be staying here all day talking about it and stuff. And it's so crazy, and we don't want to talk about. It. I'm so annoyed. Jeez, I hate myself. I'm not like Jack, like the camera Jackson, by the way. I'm much better than him, by the way. Can't you see I'm just using this stupid webcam because I travel back in time and stuff? Oh yeah, I'm at 2030, by the way. Just wanted to let you know. And in this feature, there's webcams. And everything else is the same. I'm using this lamp. Yeah, that was super random. Random. Oh, I hate myself. Okay, so... I don't, I'm, okay, I, instead of just stalling this stupid thing, here, it's one of the best movies of the year, it's one of the most original sci-fi films ever, 5 out of 5 stars, it's at this year where it's like, I think, ev where every, I'm sorry, I'm sorry I keep giving every film I've seen 5 out of 5 stars, don't hate me because I gave every film I've seen so far 5 out of 5 stars, you know, every, this year has been crazy, I mean, First, I saw Moonrise came down where I was like, "This is the best year. This this is the best movie of the year, no doubt. There's nothing that can beat it." And then The Dark Knight Rises came out, and then, you no, know, nothing can compete this. And then Cloud Atlas came out on TIFF, which I saw and was like, "What else can there be?" 
and the place beyond the pines. And then this, it's close between Cloud Atlas and The Dark Knight Rises as my favorite film of the year. It's called, you know, it's a tie between Cloud Atlas and this as number one or something. But go see it right now. I recommend to you to go see it. I hope I've said everything I need to say. So what do you guys think of this? Did you like it? Did you not? If you haven't seen do you want to see it? Did you not? What's your favorite Ryan Johnson film? Mine right now is Looper. Comment below in the Die Hard Com box like you're just like me. If you want to see more favorites, finally cut my bar there. That's up on the veil, my chance to get eight nights until you die. Hold it. It's the police. Yeah, there are people after me. And in the reviews, they're going to kill me. So, bye-bye. And... <laughs> There he is! Shoot him! Shoot him! Well, that ends that bull crap.